Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to configure IPv6 address using stateless address auto configuration method or it is known as SLAC. Actually, the dynamic assignment of IPv6 global unicast address can be configured in three ways. The first one is stateless address auto configuration or SLAC. The second one is stateless DHCP v6 and the third one is stateful DHCP v6. With Slack, a DHCP v6 server is not needed for the host to acquire IPv6 address. In this lab, I will configure the network to use Slack. So we have R1 configured with IP address 2001 colon 1 colon 1 colon 1 colon 1 double colon 0 slash 64. This is the subnet. So R1 has been assigned uh one ip and we will make sure r2 automatically assigns ip from this subnet and the method for that is to use slack so let me go ahead and show you what i have configured on r1 if you see here i have uh, configured this ip show after doing show ipv6 interface brief if you see un under this interface i have a link local address as well as global unicast address Similarly, if I go on to R2 and if I do show IPv6 interface brief, there's no IP. So the first thing what we have to do is we have to enable IPv6 unicast routing. And under the interface, I have to enable IPv6. And this is the main command. To enable Slack, I have to use IPv6 address auto config. This is the command which will allow you to enable slack so once you configure this you can verify it by using show ipv6 interface brief here you see i have a link local address as well and i have uh, slack i mean address assigned by slack which is a global unicast address that was a quick session on how to configure uh, IPv6 address using Slack. Let me show you another method to check the command for that is uh, show IPv6 interface gig 000. It will show you more detail about it. See, uh, I have been assigned this subnet from global unicast address and from I mean that IP from this subnet. So you can go ahead and ping 2001. Here you go. I'm able to successfully ping the IP of R1. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching.